Hey guys, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel. Today, the princess of pop punk, Avril Lavigne, has just put out a brand new song from her upcoming seventh studio album called Bite Me. Now, I've always been a big fan of Avril Lavigne. Avril Lavigne is part of my childhood. I grew up with Avril and she has always had a special place in my heart. Now, this is Avril's debut single from her new record label, Travis Barker's label called DTA Records. I'm very much excited to hear what Avril has cooked up for this brand new single, so let's jump right into it. Bite Me by Avril Lavigne. <laughs> Well, it's definitely Avril. <laughs> I mean, this is a classic Saudi Avril Lavigne song. I'm getting Under My Skin vibes and the Best Damn Thing vibes as well. I particularly like the melody of the chorus. Hey you, you should have known better, better to fuck with someone like me. Hey you, forever and ever, you're gonna wish I was your wifey. I gave you one chance, you don't get it twice. Hey you, and we'll be together never, so baby, you can bite me. What I also find intriguing about Avril Lavigne is that her voice hasn't really aged at all in the last 20 years, let's be real. I mean, if you had told me she recorded this song 20 years ago for her album, Let Go, her debut album, I would have believed you. Everything about this song is what I've come to expect from an Avril Lavigne song, so in a way, I'm also disappointed in this song because it's pretty much by the numbers. This is a by the numbers Avril Lavigne song. It's rebellious, it has attitude, it's anthemic as well. So all those things go into creating a great Avril Lavigne track. She isn't reinventing her aesthetic with this track at all. It does sound like a track from The Best Damn Thing or Under My Skin, but in a way, I mean, she honestly doesn't really need to change up her style at all. I mean, it's Avril Lavigne, she's attitude, she's pop punk, pop rock, and this is who she is. Am I expecting Avril Lavigne to put out a blues jazz album? Probably not. <laughs> I'm surprised she never attempted to bank off of the holiday season by putting out a Christmas album. Every other artist has done it. If you're looking for something new when it comes to Avril's music, you won't find it in this track. It's very much nostalgic, old-school Avril, so if you're looking for classic Avril, you will find it in this song. This is getting me pumped up and excited for her seventh studio album, so I'm very much looking forward to doing a video for that. But what do you guys think of this song? What are your impressions? Maybe you hated it. Tell me why in the comments. Maybe you absolutely loved it. Again, tell me why in the comments. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Instagram. You can message me. You can say, hey, how are you? And I'll see you next time. Take care.